Welcome back. I'm now joined by Emily Shockley with District 51. Thanks so much for coming on the show today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So District 51 is doing this really, really cool thing, I think for parents, but anyone really in the community to interact with board members. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure, yeah, so it's called Coffee with the Board. It's an event where anyone from the community can come in, like you said, and just bring their questions that they have about the school district or anything going on in the schools and just ask a board member directly what uh, they would like to know and then kind of have a little group discussion of, of what's going on. Awesome. So where is this one happening? There's one happening this Saturday, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so this one will be Saturday starting at 9 a.m. They usually last an hour and a half to two hours. Um, you don't have to stay for the whole thing. You can come a little later if you'd like. And it's free, open to the public, and it's at the factory, which is at 750 Main Street. Awesome. And then how often are these held? Do you, have you guys done these before? Yeah, it's just something that the board does kind of every once in a while. There's not really a set pattern. It's just whenever they feel it's needed or they feel like uh, there's some questions in the community about what to discuss and, and what's going on in the schools. So they decided that now would be a good time. Um, there are a lot of you know hot topics right now, so they felt like now would be a good time, and, and they're hoping to actually do more this year than they've done in the past years. Okay. Do we know how many board members will be at a meeting? Yeah, usually it's about three or four. Sometimes all five can make it. It can be hard to coordinate all our schedules, but yeah. uh, this one I think we'll at least have uh, three or four there. Okay. And then why, why would a parent or a community member want to come to this? Why is this sure. important? Yeah, it's important because it's good for the board to have a place where they can interact with people in the community. You know, they have these meetings and not a lot of people show up to them and, and those who mm -hmm. do can really only have a, a one-way conversation uh, during the comments section. So this is a time where people can have that interaction with their board members and speak with them about what's important for them and, and tell them what they're seeing in the community and what they're seeing in the schools and ask questions about, you know, the activity at their child's school or just their neighborhood school if they don't have kids. Yeah, so speaking of hot topics, mm -hmm. um, you guys are looking for a new superintendent right now. Can mm -hmm. you t tell me a little bit about how that's going? Yeah, that's one thing I definitely expect to come up with the coffee with the board. Yeah. Uh, we currently have an acting superintendent, which is our assistant superintendent, Scott Cooper, mm -hmm. and he will serve until we get an interim superintendent placed, and we have three finalists for that that will be interviewed by the board next Thursday, and those are Matt Deers and Deanna Serco and Norman Ritter. Uh, he is from the Front Range. Uh, the other two okay. live here in town, and we'll just see what the, the board has to ask them next week and, and hopefully come out of that one with uh, an absolute finalist who will serve as our interim until next June. Uh, and in the meantime, they'll start looking for the permanent superintendent, which wow. is a, a lengthy search, but uh, it's definitely well worth it in the end. And that person would start July 1st. Okay. It's a very thorough, very thorough search, I feel like, if they're going yeah. through all these <laughs> st steps. Wow. Yeah. Well, awesome. Thanks so much for coming on the show and uh, talking about that today. All right. Thank you. Hopefully, you'll see you guys Saturday. Yeah. And we'll have all that information on our web channel as well, westernsilvnow.com.